Now let's spend a little more time designing on this shape. I'm going to take the arc tool again, pick a point, stretch it across. Now I know it's it's um, parallel to the ground because it stayed green. The green tells me that it's horizontal and it's parallel to the ground. I'm going to bring this up. Now I'm telling it I want it to match that. Let's see if we can get it to give us a good match. There we go. This time I'm going to bring that out. I notice it makes sort of a canopy there. Let's make this look like a little house of some sort. So I'm going to take the rectangle tool, stretch up a rectangle, and this is a <laughs> pretty small house, house for hobbits. I'm going to type it, so let's make it three, well, let's see, three feet wide and approximately seven feet tall. So I'm going to type in three apostrophe comma seven apostrophe enter and it'll adjust that to exactly those dimensions now similar I can make a little window now for this I'm going to show you a new tool the next tool is called the offset tool and what it does is it traces around an edge inside or outside an edge depending on what you want I'm going to stay inside for this Let's just go with a two inch difference there and I'm going to do another rim. Okay, so I'm just going to use my measurement tool so that I know that it's ending up in the right spot, my tape measure tool. And for this I'm going to eyeball it. A lot of my designing I actually don't need it to be perfectly symmetrical and measured. I I, a lot of times I do use it th this more as a concept designing program than a designing program because a lot of times you just want to visualize something. Okay, to get rid of those guidelines now, I'm going to go to delete guides and they disappear. Now this is where the push-pull tool can come in handy on these windows. So I'm going to bring out this rim and if there were a component they would automatically do it at the same time but I can measure it up across okay, this time I have this window I'm going to bring it out a tad as well this one to bring it out point to the same window frame on the other side it'll also measure it up push this window in a little bit and measure up across it'll do the same thing so remember you hold and let go to get that to line up and measure all the way across now let's use a slightly modified technique on the offset tool for the store frame. So I'm going to take and select the lines because if I make the offset tool on it, it'll also project down underneath the door. So I'm going to select those three rims of the door, select the offset tool. Now notice it's only making the edges we actually want. Let's do that again. Okay, There we go. Use the push-pull tool. Let's match it up with our window frame outside rim, inside rim, match up the door with the windows and notice it's done it on all three of our components all the way across. Now real briefly before we start designing our second little mini home let's use the offset tool on this awning and you can see that it doesn't just do squares so I can offset that whole awning and raise it out or push it in a little bit it makes a nice frame on it and of course it did it on our other components as well okay let's use the arrow tool click into this second component here second and uh, well fourth this time let's make a pointed roof for this and I'm just gonna go fairly simple use the pencil tool Okay, this time we're going to make a pointed roof. The first thing I'm going to do is measure how far down I want that roof to go. So I'm going to bring it down approximately, I don't know, let's go with six feet. So six 
apostrophe enter will bring it down six feet. That's kind of my guideline now, so I'm going to take the midpoint to that guideline, midpoint to that guideline, and then as you did earlier with the push-pull tool, we're going to carve off that section of the roof. And of course, it did the same thing on the other component. Now, I'm going to take and delete that guideline. I don't need it right now. Make a sort of a line across the top of the roof. And now I'm going to design those doors. Now, the doors don't have to be the same as the other ones. Uh, so let's do this kind of quickly here. So door and then I do want them to line up though so let's use our tape measure here so let's bring this one out approximately two feet so 24 enter go the lazy way here bring it out two feet 24 enter lining it up with the top for this I'm just going to well, bring it up from the bottom and let's find a spot where we can finish the windows there. So we have our guidelines drawn in. Let's take our rectangle tool and draw these windows 18 inches wide approximately. So one six, let's see if I can lock that. There we go, one six and three quarters. Nothing magical about that. Again, use the offset tool to do our little window frame tricks. This time I'm going to go beyond. And I want it to line up with that, so let's see if we can get it to cooperate. And give me an inference, which it didn't want to do. So sometimes if it doesn't matter, I don't worry about the inferences. Usually it does, but let's do our little trick. So get the arrow tool, and this time we're going to hold the control button down, click on the three sides of the door we want to use the offset tool on. Choose the offset tool, and click and hold, drag it out. Let's line it up with that there. Now we're getting an inference when we need it. And see if we can get an inference on the second line too. There we go. Okay, next to line these up, we can actually line them up with the windows on this other shape, I hope. Let's bring that out and let's see if it'll cooperate. There we go. So first level lines up. Now we can line it up with itself. just a little bit out, line it up with the second level of trim, line it up with the second level of trim, push the window in, push the door in, push this in, I should line them up with each other though, there we go, a little too deep, and you have your little miniature cottages designed for midgets, hamsters, something like that. Thank <laughs> you.